Hi Trini. Hi Jemima. How are you? I'm so excited to be in the new space. It's like the best playpen for us doing closet confessions. And so, spring has sprung. Spring has sprung, which means that our wardrobe has to be thoughtful because it can be cold one day, warm the next, and it's about layering. So today okay. I have got a rail of layering concepts and we might throw in some other outfits too. But there are certain great basics that are good for layering. I think most of you, if you follow Closet Commissions, know by now I love a sleeveless chile for layering and I have got four of my favorites here. Ooh. So the first one is this black one from Kos. And what's clever is it's matte and then it's sheer. So when you wear things, it doesn't look too blocky and make your legs look short because you see a silhouette underneath. Second one is Alexander Wang I got years ago. And this is the opposite, oddly. This is yes. chiffon at the top and more blocky below. But again, it ends at the waist, that change in the fabric. This is another one from Zara that I've worn in a few different outfits, this gray layering piece. And it's great over or under jackets. And then the white one, which we also did when we were doing the modern classic. I have here a little Ooh. waistcoat. A little layering piece. Like that, which is going to go down to this point. Yes. So when I put this jacket back on, there's a tiny bit more detail and there's some nice lines. And from the back, you still feel my waist is here, Yeah. but it's just that extra added detail. Mm. So the first thing I can do is I can do a half tuck. Easy, looks expensive. I could go and put on a pair of, sort of snappy glasses. Add that fun element just to make it something more than yeah. a top and a bottom. Trini, um, your lip looks great, what oh, is thank it? You. Mama Shia Shema and Maiko mixed together and it just brings a bit of joy and I put on my lip and cheek. Duh. Then I'm going to take this me and M little tank top Yeah. and I'm going to take out that again and I'm just going to put that on top there like that. And I love a little bit of a um, sleeveless vest. When it's a mandarin collar, you can have the collar there or sometimes if it's a high neckline, I would just tuck that in. Sleeveless vests are having a real moment, They're aren't they? They're having such a moment. And you know, they just take away the buttons from a shirt. And so it's all about the external details of the shirt, the longer details here and here, more than I'm wearing a shirt. Now I'm wearing something a bit more interesting than a shirt. And I've got the little bit popping out the end, which help also to change where your waist is or mm -hmm. where your legs begin. It just, it just sort of diffuses a lot. This is a very old Celine blazer, but I like the color of the blue with it. For this, I do want to put the mandarin collar back up because I love those two blues together and it just finishes it off there. Yeah. So that feels really smart. I've got the tailoring in, I've got the floppy jean, which is actually, you know, very nicely fitted around the waist and hip, but then gently grazes off the widest part of my bottom. So again, the legs length is elongated mm -hmm. and then a bit of a stat trainer. This one is from Hogan. So other things I could do with it actually is a bag. So I'm going to take that lovely blue of the jean and wear the Charles Elizabeth bag, which they do really lovely bags and very nice shapes. I like the way that that's sort of bringing the color of the denim into the top of the outfit. Yeah. I think that works well. Let me see if I would do this necklace as well. A little Leah Ginsberg moment. That's great, I love that. And then if I was doing a lip, I might go for a fuchsia because there's a bit of a pink in there. Mm. And I might actually go for a deeper lip. Let me just see. That color is so beautiful with green, with ice blue and with the blue I'm wearing. And look, Nisha is that color. So I'm just going to take off this one and put some Nisha on and see if going that colder blue is nicer. And then I'll probably put that on my cheek as well. Like that, in the bending. And then also the strength of the green, which isn't my best shade, suddenly looks better. I just know with what I'm going to do now that I need a red lip. So I'm going to go with my favorite Swainy Lip Lux to do this there. And because I have Nisha Shia Shimmer, I'm just going to cover that with a little bit of Swainy on my cheeks as well. I know it's going to be quite a lot of color for some, but I love a bit of color. Do it everywhere actually. And then I just get this warmth in my face when I'm feeling a little bit tired and blend it in. Transformation complete. So already that's like step one of a layering moment. Layer on a great bit of makeup. Tuck it in however much you feel. I don't want to show my tummy. It's so much better to show the length of your leg than actually stop that journey with a sort of pull down top. So this is a very old Zara lumberjack shirt. This is casual, yeah. but as soon as you just do up the top button, you frame the outfit, you give it that little extra. It's a tiny detail, it makes such a difference. That already for me is a nice layering moment. Yeah. I love this. It's like a 10 year old Zara because I can put my hands in my pockets and it's not a sort of all the way round. It's got a little um, seam on the side. 
yeah. and then I'm going to take my very old oh. jacket. I haven't worn this for years, but since I've changed the wardrobe around, so many old friends have come out to play. I, know, I haven't seen these for a while. I know. But Trini, the shirt is quite casual, the blazer is quite smart. Yep. How did you think to put them together? Because sometimes casual needs smart and smart needs casual to meet in the middle. And where would you wear this? I mean, I'd wear this like running around London at the weekend. I would wear it if I was going to the countryside and I wanted to bring a bit of town into country, but not be totally country. And I love the comfort of the shirt. It's a shirt I'm so happy that I never got rid of. And I, there were moments when it was on the pile to go, but it's always come back and it served me well. So this red you can see isn't going with this. And my favorite color to do with this dress is a little bit of Sasha. There. Because there's red and pink in this. I don't want to go red or pink, I'm just going in between and I'm adding the sasha on over the Swainy Lip Lux, just building up that blusher moment. Oh, it's so, one of my favourite dresses. It is, it is, and I just, you know, when I'm putting it on, I'm just thinking now, it does deserve a high heel, so I'm just going to show you in all its glory. This was from Match's own label, which is called Raya, R-A-E-Y, and this is how I'm going to wear it. But I want to wear it now and the sun is out as we're talking, so how can I make it more day wear? And also the back oh. um, is very much a nighttime thing. So the first thing I've got to do if I'm going to wear a top over it is not have it in a bow because that's going to then show. So I'm just going to tuck it under and make it a double knot. So I could just do that, really casual, and then I could put on a trainer with it and make it sort of more run around. Um, I'm just going to put on a very dirty old trainer that gives you an idea. I could put on my high heel white boots from Zara, but I can't find them. So that look works. Yeah, and Easy. it makes it way more casual. It does, doesn't it? And we have so many summer dresses which are backless, and we think we'd love to wear them and they have a beautiful print. And I don't mind the proportion of the length. I think it's fine. This is a moment where you're going to be casual. But if I think to myself, actually, I still want to show off my waist, and I love the shape this dress gave me, then I had to shop up and I sent it to the office, and Molly had it for returning. And I went in, I thought, why are we returning this? This is one of their 20 quid belts at Zara, which oh, will last it's... forever. That is just so nice. Okay, so is it in the store now that we can buy it now? It's in the store now, you can buy it, yeah. <laughs> this is so rare this moment, so really safe this moment. Walk. The first way I did it was really not showing any shape. But I'm okay with that now. Okay. I suddenly feel, doesn't matter. Yeah. Whatever feels comfortable, I'm dressing the dress down. But if you think it gave you a good shape, the belt's going to give you the shape back. What I might do is a scarf. Oh, All right, scarf. let's try a scarf <laughs> um, and see if this moment goes. All right, a very, very old Louis Vuitton scarf that has got the colours. Do this over it. Oh, yes. You know, it's yeah. like, I know it's weird. You might think, whoa, but you know, if you have a scarf and you want it to behave, you can always belt it in. But then we're going to do the final moment back with a other scarf and we're going to take that really neony pink, which is actually in there, the very blue pink. Okay, I'm gonna wear it back to front because I want to have it high okay. here. Oh, I really love oh, this one. I do like that. And you know what that feels? That feels more modern. That to me looks more put together. Yeah. You know, it looks far more like it's an outfit. We finally got there. You see, it took ages starting with the concept, building it up, and then thinking actually what colors are in there. So I actually thought of another jumper, which I don't know if you've seen yet, but I got this. Um, a few weeks ago, and I'm just thinking it is actually nearly oh. the exact colours. Where's this I jumper this from? Is I saw they it on their website. I killing the jumpers it. at the moment. And you know what I like about this is I like. Oh yes, I do like this jumper with it. And I'm loving red and pink together lately. So much. I'm now wanting to add on some more red and pink. I could just do a little fun Leah Ginsburg bracelet like that just to add a bit of detail there so cool maybe you want to introduce the concept of a v if you have a bigger boob so putting a great fun necklace on just gives that center of focus and also you've got pattern down here and you've got stripe and then there's a sort of pattern again here mm -hmm. i love that white because it just brings a bit of lightness it to does, your face it? yeah, yeah. millie lips cheek and over dye day sheer shimmer to get a hint to the color not um be contrasting like Sasha was, but just to give a nod. Ooh. This is a really simple one. I love this and it's a Serena Butte cord and it's one I wear a lot. And I wear it either with the collar out like this or I can wear it with the collar tucked in. And I love wearing it with the buttons undone at the top. Um, so I can have it like that. But my favorite thing was, I was sent this jacket and I, I have to even read the label now because I love this jacket so much and I never give them a shout out, so you know. But it is the perfect pink. and. I always had times when I wanted to not wear the Serena Butte totally clean, and this gave me the perfect layering moment because the colors are beautiful, 
you know, because it has that little collar there, yeah. I wear it with the collar tucked in. I have all the color around my face. It just makes the outfit a complete outfit. It's just, I want to wear this right now again. I'm, I just want the sun to shine. But when you're wearing this neon pink, you know, going to say you can't let two <laughs> neons come and have a baby because I just love neon and neon. It's actually the perfect colour. It's the perfect colour. How do you feel about the black buttons? I don't mind the black buttons, funny enough. I wouldn't change them. They're there. I'm just going to lean into it. When you're wearing this bright colour pink, which might be scary for you, I think it's always about how can you tone it down or do things with it to soften it. So if you were softening it, let me just show you with orange. You know, how good is that? So, so that works so well. In fact, that might work even better than the yellow. I think, yeah, I, I think it does. Know, that's just because it has all those elements and, and this is nearly verging on a sort of neon towards the orange family. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the sun to come out. So I'll do it with that. You know, Would I you do would... leopard? Yes, and that also goes towards the black. Yeah. So if I want to actually wear this today, I would then think it might be raining, so would I take my rain mac and put it on top? This is our 35 pound rain mac. Oh my God, this is my outfit for today. I can see the sun is out and it's been raining. Thank you, Molly, for the leopard moment, because now I'm really into it. And then I can also, let's say, I, let's say this didn't have a hood. Oh, what's you. that, Julie? This is like, you might think, oh, this is a scrunchie. Yeah, I thought right. it was a scrunchie. It's a scrunchie that looks like a scrunchie. Yeah. But oh my God, it's raining and I've just had my hair done. So I just do this and I turn it around and I sort of snap it open. I snap it open, snap and snap. <gasps> and I have a rain hat. No way. Yes way. <laughs> From I mean, L hood. L hood. But like, you might think I'm looking like a mad person or a lovely fisherman with the classic thing. Yeah. But I don't care because my hair will be good. And it actually is so good how it's designed because it's going to go over all my hair. Yeah, the rain's just going to like... And then you sort of snap it back on your wrist <laughs> and do things with it. But I'm a <laughs> genius. We yeah. don't often talk about layering necklaces. And I could wear this really simply. Um, or I could wear it just with my bangles like that. Yeah there and some earrings but if I was doing necklaces I do love to layer necklaces so I'm going to show you some necklaces I tend to layer a lot I think this one is Zara and that's just taking a little bit of mm -hmm. that and I want to bring it down longer so then I could layer so that could be on its own or I could just have that too it might seem that it's too much to you but I like the idea of both I'm thinking I would actually like to add another one because I want to get <laughs> Why some not? more of the Dumonti down here because it's looking a bit flat so I might then get I might add that in too like that yeah I wouldn't mind that as well I just think you can go on and on and on. If I had this by itself, it would look more classic. Yeah. I like the way that's framing my face. Yes. Um, then I have another one from Zara that I really like, which I think we just got fixed. But if I have that there, mm. what I like about this, is I think it works better because there's a delicacy about the top half mm -hmm. and then you've got that coming down, but it just adds that extra something. It makes it a totally different jumpsuit. It does. From just, and that's why something really, simple a total black base and then you just think how do i dress it up or down it looks so glamorous yeah. like this yeah it, it's it's a very good cut and then i'm thinking it's more casual daytime but i want to be fun i don't want to look so eveningy so is there something i could layer that would give me that casual daytime? it's a little soup of color for me sometimes there's a difference with where necklines end so when this goes like that shape and then i have this coming out here I don't love it. So if it's a choker, I like to cover the distance between mm -hmm. these two because it just, this feels a bit more frumpy somehow. And I usually wear this when I have a more rounded collar. This is a very good shape to layer with if you have bigger boobs. It's that deep V that I always talk about that gives that feeling that you're wearing a, a mm -hmm. V-neck, even though you've got a round neck on. It's just taking the color contrast into equation so it looks and flatters your boob shape. Yeah. So just, just think, you know, get all your jewellery out and think what actually goes together that you wouldn't think of wearing and just start layering. Mm. And I definitely think you should just wear your jewellery all the time. I know, there's so much that stays in boxes and it should be out. All right, but what can we layer underneath now to make this daytime? You know, we talked about the basics of laying the sleeveless chile and the sleeveless uh, tang, but shirts that have a lot of detail at the collar and cuffs mm. are brilliant and me and um, doesn't matter actually than anyone else. This is a me and M1. But that then makes it for me more a day wear. And then I could put something over it just to kind of continue the layering process. I could even go to black and just look at changing the shoulder line and making this a bit wider here because it's quite narrow. Yes. I'm just thinking, would I then put that on top like that? 
mm. and then that just gives it that moment of a sort of jacket but I still am able to show the sleeve detail yeah and I could do that too and now that's taken it to spark daytime it's like it's a trouser suit but it's got more edge to it do you think you could wear this to work I could wear this to work and then go straight up straight up for dinner it's a really nice smart day look I don't wear that much black I love the way that I've got the white at the collar and the white at the cuff yeah this is a dress that I haven't worn for many years, Jemima. It's uh, from Balenciaga, or maybe oh, wow. just as I got Lila, and it's a really beautiful dress. <laughs> it's cut and beautifully. It's cut incredibly well. But I don't wear it that much, so I'm thinking, how could I wear it more? So mm. we're gonna try layering it. Okay, so step one is I've taken a top Massimo Duty and I'm putting it underneath, and the colors are really good together. So the thing is, the art of some layering is really just finding that color combination which works well. Yeah. I'm looking and thinking, do I want the double tie? Because I have the tie here and the tie there. So in this instance, I might actually decide to tie it at the back because I don't believe double tie is the way to go. One idea. And then I could put a jacket on top. Oh my gosh, these shades are so perfect and this together. this is a Zara jacket. And I'm thinking it's quite wintry, so how do I make it summery? Oh, I'm very glad I've got this And I feel bag. it's a neon moment. So we could do a neon moment like that. I could also go to a neon orange with this. Would you maybe consider a Sha Sha lip with this orange? Oh my God, inspired Jemima. <laughs> when it comes to being summery, is get on some Sha Sha onto tweed or onto wintry things to give you the summery look. So there it goes. A thick layering has gone on. And of course it's got to go on the cheeks as well like that. But this is densely pigmented. So you hardly need any for the cheek area there. And then I might top on a tiny bit of mica to really pop it even more. But that just transformed it, Jemima. Genius. Belts don't fit. You just always find a different way to wear them because this is a bit too big for me. And I just fold it round and do it differently. A bit of the white trainer. That works. I really like that. And there we have it. I'm so excited. The room is in a big old mess. But I don't care, because I found another five outfits I never thought I'd wear. I'm going to now ask you, ladies, go inside your wardrobe. See how could I layer things differently? Could I put tops under dresses? Could I put tops under jumpsuits? Could I put gilets over dresses, over trousers, over cords? If you remember the train try, post them on Facebook and Instagram, because we get so inspired by it, and I'm using it for a new project. Anyway, Jemima, next week. Yes, well, I would also love everyone to give ideas about what they would love to yes. see. Yes, I have lots of people saying... I'm coming to London for Easter, or I'm coming to London for the summer, or I'm coming for four days. I want to pack things so that I feel like a local and can walk to yoga in the morning, it's exactly what somebody said to me, <laughs> go to the gallery in the afternoon and look like a local going out for a smart, cool supper. But what I'd love to do is do suitcases for weekend trips away and using few pieces that stretch a long way. I love seeing what people wear on holiday. Me too. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right. Until next week. Thank you, Molly. Thank, Thank you, Jemima. Thank you. Bye. Bye.